Hello everybody, my name is Kaiser Bunta. I'll be playing more Let's Make a City. As you can see, there are definitely some things have changed. We'll begin into that later in the episode. First, I want to tell you that today is an exploring episode. You probably already know this, to go off into the nether, which is down there, my nether portal, and visit the thingy that I was telling you about. This thing right here. I don't know what it is. I think it's, it's from Armors Plus. I don't have I have no idea what it is, but I want to visit it. I think it's like a kind of like a monster thing. I have no idea, but I want to do it. And I also want to talk about some things about the village and how um, my people were attacked by a necromancer. And how there's probably a necromancer roaming around the place that could possibly come out of nowhere. So um, as I was doing myself some work, and you know I usually do, I was delivering food to my people, and I ran into like the middle of the town. And I saw a necromancer running through the fields, running through the, like, this higher place. Luckily, no one was hurt, but all the crops, all the seeds were absolutely destroyed. I think the necromancer itself destroys all like plant life and withers it away, which is pretty, I guess, you know, the necromancer, because he does put wither on you if you do attack him. He, he will attack you and put wither on you. But even then, um, I got like two notifications, you probably won't see it because I generally have to re-log in and outside the game. Um, two necromancers were attacking, well one came after the other, but I never saw the first necromancer. The second one, I have no idea where he is and where he, he, he's at because the necromancer itself can spawn outside the border of the city. So it means, basically means that he can spawn all the way from over there, outside the little town part, or all the way over there all the way over there I have no idea my people are in depression they they are so sad and so just droopy that's actually bad they're not making enough food so that I can actually give them food I have to put in more work to give them food as far as I got a chicken farm over here and stuff but I'll talk about that more and stuff but yeah it's just been a whole thing let's talk about that later let's talk about the updates of the village done more stuff to the roads I started putting down the yellow line to stuff the roads I put down more uh, sidewalks. I put down this road leading up to this part of the town city that's gonna be made with some um, sometime in the future. I've started putting bricks everywhere at places where I want because I was thinking I don't want to have to level the entire place out like all the way over here because that's a lot of work and it's kind of a little bland. I wanted to be like different levels because you know i want to make it look like a city the entire city is not just flat it has curves up and down hills everything so i wanted it to be cool i started doing stuff with the river putting bricks on the road the river and stuff i started doing that also the other side i had to stop where the um sugar cane is because if the sugar cane, sugar cane doesn't have oh goodness the sugar cane doesn't have water it's not gonna you know work um i think i'm still terraforming over here more over here I basically, I'm not sure I said this was like the parking lot. I put the white lines and stuff down for like where the cars would be if we actually had any and stuff like that. I've done that. Also, I've made, you might see, I've made an entire kitchen from cooking for blockheads. I've basically done that because it makes making food a lot more easier. As you can see, I have a ton of recipes in here for a lot of things that I can make for my people. It's just a lot more simpler because without it, I would have to like generally search up every recipe to try and figure out what food I can make my people. Also, as you see, I have some hopper bonsai pots that has fruit trees all in them and the fruit trees are basically growing and they're basically producing the fruit and some other not needed stuff like the oak leaves, wood, and sticks. I will be throwing that stuff away. Or actually, I should probably be using it for furnace fuel. But most likely thrown it away, so I just have tons of fruits in here. This one's basically full, but yeah, I have tons of fruits and stuff in here. It's really handy. Why is there a yogurt in here? I don't know. I also have some milk bottles. They basically allow me to get milk. I have some. I have like a little spice rack, I think. Yeah, spice rack. Lots of my spices up here. I just put salt and pepper up there. I also have like a fruit basket, which I just put ground nutmeg in there. And it's kind of like all the food I kind of have uh, and this other thing of food because it ain't all the food in there. I've been growing all the food over here because my people can't actually make the food without destroying it. 
and keeping it there for a long time. So I'm making it also some cocoa beans and stuff that I got from the market over here that I got. So yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing so far. And now let's move on to like the main problem of my entire little nice quaint village soon to be city. So at the moment, my people have crippling depression. They are absolutely sad, sad, sad little sack of people. As each one of them have nothing to do with their life. They're just absolutely sad. Look at it. Sad. Depression. I've also got like um, another lumberjack. And I got myself uh, another, uh, what is it? Bard. Look at him. Um, Rav, what is his name? Ben Benvillo? Oakenheart? Whatever. Okay, you saw that sign over there? Even my bards are terribly unhappy. And the reason why I think they're so, so unhappy is because they want a tavern. They generally just want and need a tavern because they want to play in the tavern and entertain people, stuff like that. So they're just really, really unhappy. And also, I think the next thing that makes them super unhappy, I've seen some villagers really walking around and I saw like a little head symbol not even head symbol, like a little people symbol like a little three people symbol around a, above their head and I was like well, what is that so what I'm thinking that is is that they feel unsafe they don't have enough guards to the point where they feel like oh we can be protected because if I'm quite honest one guard isn't enough because guards patrol my guard goes all the way to over here to over there following people around and stuff, make sure they're okay. And if a zombie starts attacking over there and he's over here, well, that's the problem because he can't come all the way over there. He's gonna run there, but by the time he's there, the zombie's gonna be dead or they're gonna be dead. One of the two. So I need to get more guards because they feel unsafe and I need to make a freaking nightclub. That's basically gonna be the um the tavern, a night little nightclub. I'm planning probably putting it somewhere near over here and I also need to make a new storage place because if I'm being quite honest these people it's too small for all these people oh my god are you okay okay I get this it's too small for these people because they generally when everyone goes inside there to get some food they all start cramping inside and the bar generally was playing a little solo and blocking a farmer that needed to get out so that was just the entire thing also i figured out that um i can actually give them uh weapons and stuff like that like i can give them tools like iron tools that's what i've been doing so far and i think they've been using them but i think they've used them all up see there's an iron pickaxe in there iron pickaxe in there i've been basically giving them that stuff and you know just giving it to them so they can use it as you can also see I've been giving my people just a variety of food, like a menu of food. I've given them chocolate cooking, coconut bars, chocolate caramel fudge, hush puppies, cherry pie, dang nut bread, pancakes, popcorn, chocolate rolls, yogurts, pear juice, grape soda, cookie and milk, chocolate donuts. I've been giving them basically an entire thing and they're still so unhappy. They're just so unhappy. You ungrateful swines, I'm giving you like everything you need. Most people, most villagers don't even have chocolate. You have chocolate. Stop being ungrateful. God, these people. Take that. So, yeah, I just, I need to like, probably next episode, I'm going to be making not one building, but two buildings. The nightclub and the storage area that I'm probably going to need. I think I might put the storage area over here. The nightclub like somewhere over there. I don't want to put my nightclub like a little too close to like town hall because i feel like that's a little weird i don't feel like i will be like oh in a press conference meeting and at night and i'm hearing rave music next door that would be a little weird if i'm being quite honest so i'm probably planning on putting it over there in the storage area over here i have a big plan for the storage area i kind of have envisioned i have not built anything for it so hmm, yes but now that I've basically expressed all my opinions about how things are terribly, terribly wrong with my villagers and how they have crippling depression and probably starts to su suiciding, let's start exploring and getting into what we're actually supposed to do today. There it is. There's a the thing I was talking about. You see it? It's like a nether kind of nether thing. 
I don't know what this. Also, that's some like lamps and stuff. If, if I like to get rid of this, I will, will be destroying all of this and taking this for myself. There's like a sign somewhere on the side of it. I saw, I saw a sign. Where's the sign? Okay, it says, Do you dare enter my tower of skeleton monsters? Sure. What's this? Lock of lava crystals? I think this can make... Oh yeah, I think I need that for like the armor plus workbench. I don't know what's going on here. Parkour? Nah. We got wings. We can fly. <laughs> um, What's in here? Ooh, a chest. Ooh, what's in here? What? The dispenser is locked. Oh! Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, shoot. Ah, ah, that's what Oh, my God. They hurt. They hurt. They hurt. Ah. Oh, my God. Ow. They have armor on. I need my, I need my sword. Eat some. Eat it. Ah, oh, couldn't. They hurt. Stop. Ah. Got you. Okay, that was more risky than it to be. Okay, no more opening chests. As that seems to be a very big no-no. I like how I'm just like flying past all this stuff. What am I looking at here? I was to turn all these on. Will it like spawn a dungeon monster or something? A big bat monster? I don't I don't know. But I do know all these bone blocks mine now because that means I get <gasps> oh gold oh my god thank I need more gold thank you is there more stuff in here <gasps> iron oh my god I ran out of iron so like I made that printing press I was telling you about it's not the kind of printing press I was thinking it was it's something different so yeah and I think it makes pictures and stuff redstone I can live without I don't really need it and what's in the last one? It is a lapis. Actually, lapis is really nice because you have to find that. I can't just like... Well, it's not entirely... Ooh. Um, diamonds? I would rather have emeralds, actually. <laughs> I know it's like diamonds, yay, but I really would rather have the, um emeralds. I'm so poor in emeralds right now that it's actually not funny. My, my, my city is so poor. We're so poor. Well, what I really want is this. Thank you. And this thing over here, because I don't know where to get these. This stuff looks. I'm gonna come back here and probably destroy everything. Why'd I do that again? Ah! Oh! Whoa! I need to eat. Why'd I do this again? Why do I think that opening up will be good? Ow! Get out of here. Was that one named? Did I have a name? Spawn skeleton. Um. Sure. Yep, look at that. Up, oh, someone's getting attacked by a zombie. Yep, uh oh. This is what I was talking about. Oh, miner's getting eaten by a zombie. Oh, please don't tell me he's gonna die. Where is he? Where's my. Oh, goodness. Oh. Why? Why? Why are you not at your house? Why are you not home? Why are you so stupid? Questions that might never be answered. Okay, so um, my miner died. No, lumberjack died. Gosh darn it! I need to light this entire place up. I really do need to do that because there are monsters spawning all over the place. It's become an issue. Ow! Also, yes, 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 now I'm looking at it. I do know what the legendary pants do. So, every time I get hit, I get strength and speed. So, that's really nice. Um, he basically lost everything. Okay. This is why usually when I'm working off camera, especially like building and stuff, it goes straight to peaceful. I turn to drink to peaceful so quick because the amount of time my people have died because I accidentally let it become night a little too long is astronomical astronomical so what you'll probably all need to start doing is off camera slowly moving residential buildings over here and moving my people closer in towards the city so that they're no longer a threat because i would definitely be lighting this entire place up oh i got it 
Okay, whoa, I thought this would take a lot longer for me to get something like this. So I just place this down and I can do stuff with it, question mark? Let me put up armor plus actually. Okay, so with this, can I actually like make anything? Any like actual good armor for myself? Here's some coal armor. If I have blocks of coal, that's very expensive. I'm not doing that. There's some lapis or this redstone. Is redstone good? Let me see. It gives me haste too. So that means I can mine things very quickly. I believe um, lava infused chest plates. This is something that I cannot make. Is it? Well, I can make lapis stuff. I can make redstone stuff. But I can't make... Oh, I have to have a better workbench for that. So how do I make this workbench? I need... Actually, I can do this. I should really start... I should really make myself like a house sometime soon. Because I'm very scared that something is going to come over. By that mean, or, um, creepers will come blow my stuff up. Why isn't this working? Do I need infused? Okay, so I need infuser, which I can make with obsidian and glass and things. Okay, and I need lava for. Oh, this is getting very interesting. So I should be able to make the lava infuser. So with this, I should be able to do something if I put this there and I put lava in here. So I'm gonna need lava. So let me get some lava. I just need three of these, don't I? Okay, I'm taking this. So now that I've got that, I need to make this, which I need more actually, now I'm thinking about it. I need to go here and pull this up, go there, and I have a high, what is high tech workbench now? Whoa, yay, woo. So that's cool. So what do I need to make the ultra tech bench? Oh, um, what is, okay, um, oh. Guardian scale and the dragon scale. So that means I'm actually have to go to the end and find a guardian temple. Witherbone. Actually, I have one of those because I did go to like the fortress and see what I need and stuff. It was bigger than I thought. So I want to explore it with you guys. So I have one of those. So I'm not making an ultra high tech bench. So yeah. What can I use for all these? I can use this to make... um. Things. I can make lava cactus. What is lava cactus used for? I don't know. It's just not. It's just lava cactus, I guess. Um, I can use to make a gift of the gods. This item can summon items which can potentially cause crashes. Um, this is ability grants random item. Max uses two. Still. What is still used for? Stuff. Okay, this. I'm getting really into this. Uh, okay. Uh, there's two things I can do here. I can still go to the nether, or I can work with this mod, because I kind of want to. Or I could do both in the same episode, I just really cut a lot of things out. So, I think I'm going to do both. So, I want to make armor. If I have one of every piece, do I get the bonus for it? Do I have to have like, the entire set, or only part of it? I want to see. So, I want to make some coal helmet, or something weird like that. Okay, answer to my question. It says full set abilities. Okay. After further analysis, I've discovered that a lot of this armor is not actually better than my armor that I have right now. Until I get to like, I don't know, this like superstar armor and guardian scale armor. It's not, it's nowhere as good as my armor because my armor gives like toughness and it gives armor. Well, I mean the legendary gear and stuff like this is really good. But it's nowhere near as good as my armor. So basically at this point, I'll have to wait until like I get better stuff. Until I actually make some of this armor. I mean the perks and stuff it gives is really nice. Like haste, speed and stuff. That's really nice. I have to have like, a full armor set. And I'm not trying to give up my wings. So that might be something a little different. So I'm not sure. But I definitely can say after looking, um, the weapons is a different story though. The weapons are a lot more better. Because my sword doesn't do nearly as much. So I'm thinking of definitely getting, not even a sword, I'm getting a infused lava axe. Because it's really nice. Like, look at this. It looks really, it's really powerful. It does 10 damage. But also, in this entire time of me looking and doing um, other things, I have went around and I've given my people more food. 
because they were basically in everything from the time I started talking to the moment I started like um, organizing a bit more in my drawers because I was trying to empty all the clutter out so I did that and put some lava here and destroyed like half the stuff so yeah and also I've definitely um, seen some stuff um, my people are eating more food than they can put out at the moment it's becoming really really bad we I generally do need to do something about that because oh quite nice they're they're eating like I said they eat more than they can put out there was a point where I was having stacks of stacks of wheat and I just had nothing to do with it I just gonna make tons and tons of food now at this point I can barely get a stack of wheat at the moment if you look here I can barely even get a stack of wheat like I said before I barely get any sugar cane, at least I guess sugar cane, so that's really helpful, but other than that, I barely have anything else. I have some diamonds and stuff that people have been mining, some beetroots, oh, actually, give me this. We have a tradesman somewhere, don't we? I need to get this to him. He's over there. Hello, sir, come, come hither. I need you at the moment. Hello, hello, hello. I can also give you, like, I don't know. I'll take this, take my, take this. And I think I'll give you like some lapis. There you go. And I think that's, I need more diamonds for that. More diamonds. If I get some nomads, how much does a guard cost again? A guard costs seven. I'm getting another guard because I need more guards. I just don't have enough protection in my city, in my little town. My people are feeling unhappy about that. So yeah, and I need some nomads. I need some nomads, seriously. Do we have any nomads that want to come and become part of my terribly, terribly depressed town? It's very pretty, but it's very depressive. Um, I don't see any nomads, so since that's the case, let's see if I can or cannot enchant this. Is this something I can enchant? It is something I can enchant. Ooh, sweeping edge. Sweeping edge. Okay, I got a sweeping edge battle wax. So should it show it should do more range damage, I guess. Not range, but more area damage. No area range, I think. That's what sweeping edge does, right? I think. So I think I have a sharpness book in here. So if I go over here and do this and this, I have a cool a sharpness to sweeping edge to battle axe. Oh, this could be fun. But before I do anything else, though, I do need to actually enchant my wings with unbreaking somehow because there's no way I can go into the nether with not having unbreaking wings because everything's fire there. So if I don't have it, I guess unbreaking one's cool too, but if I don't have it, it's just going to be break really easily because, funny story, I actually went into the nether and my wings, my evil wings, as you can see right here, broke when I was exploring a bit. And I didn't mark the nether portal, so I basically had no idea where I was going. I could not fly around. So in the end, I had to go to the creative and basically make a portal and fly back over here. As you can probably see um, on my mini maps, I, where, where did I come from? I was somewhere over here. I had made another portal and it put me all the way over here in this little forest. I had to fly all the way back over, ah, fly all the way back over here to the village. So that was just a whole ordeal that I did not want to go through again. So yeah, I think that's kind of all right now. Let's just go to the nether and let's see what we can find and what we can do. Cause after this, I need to start moving my people over here. So I make some residential buildings, even though I said I would not make them. I'll probably do that off camera because I'll probably make one or two or something probably over there because it's just having them near the edge of the border is very dangerous because necromancers, like I said, can spawn outside the border and it can spawn right, basically right outside there and be over here and people need to be more inwards. <gasps> oh my God. Oh, why is the necromancer just right there walking? What is happening? He's just walking around, just hanging out. What? This is the same thing that happened. 
oh my god, this is the reason why I need him to, I need to move these people over. He basically destroyed all the crops. He destroyed everything. He basically ate and destroyed all my crops. This is the reason why I have to have my people pushed over there now. He basically destroys everything. My guard is just sitting there doing who knows what inside this man. I think my the necromancer killed all this. Don't know why. I'm not sure why my necromancer is not attacking or what his problem is, but I'm glad he didn't attack any of my people. That might be something problem with another mod, but I'm about to figure out. But he ate all my crops and destroyed all of them. So people are having a hard time putting out crops. Now there's no crops to put out. And people are crazily depressive. This is a bigger problem than I thought. Okay, goodness. And my bar just wants tavern, tavern, tavern. Oh my god. Just constantly sad. You sad, sad little thing. So unhappy. Oh my god. What is this artificial bag? Wow, sand. What could I ask for more? But sand. That literally scared me so bad. There was a necromancer just walking across my bridge right over to here and nobody did a single thing. When people weren't getting hurt, it was killing all my crops. My guard was just inside the animal pen. Don't know why. And people were just going on about their day like nothing's happening. This necromancer is destroying everything. And I think he also kills my, my sugar cane. I think. I don't know, but I need to get that tavern down ASAP. Next episode, I'm going to start planning everything out because and start moving people over and start making the farm extremely big. This entire area over there, farmland. Farm, farm, farmland because they are not putting enough food out that they're eating. They're basically nothing but parasites at the moment. They're just eating everything. But let's not get into that. Let's go into the nether right now. Let's first put this up because I don't need it. So let's get my pickaxe out and my looting sword. Because I, I want those. Um, I think that's about, that's all I have need. So let's go into this nether portal and let's find that nether fortress. Okay, so we're in the nether now. Nothing's going wrong so far besides necromancers attacking villages. And no one doing a single thing. The nether fortress should be over here. Okay, there are blazes already here. Okay, that, that was easier than I thought. This new axe is pretty nice. I should probably get looting on it. What's in this bag? Thorns? I don't think I will ever really ever use thorns. That's... That's... Really... Nice? The Curse of Vanishing is not something that's nice. So let's just plop that in there for now because I think I can get rid of that with a I don't think this is updated version though I don't know I have to figure this out but let's go to the blaze spawner because I know that there is a blaze spawner right around here die die Ooh. okay I don't do I have any torches I don't have any torches how stupid am I well, it's not like we're here for the blazes anyway. So let's uh, explore the place and figure, find some delicious, delicious loot. What's in this bag? Nothing that's actually good. Throw away. What's in this epic? Ooh, a wand of the forest. Wait, don't I already have that? No, I have a wand of earth magic. No, wait, the same thing. It's generally the same thing. Okay, so. I'm gonna keep the wand, but other than that, this other stuff is trash. I, I wanna get my looting sword out because if I get some wither skeletons, I'm going to use this sword on them. Ooh, I'll take this, I'll take that, and I will I'll take I'll take both of this. I'll take all of it, don't worry. Hello there, sir. Ah, I'm falling. Back here. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, I'm using my axe now. You forced me to do this. It's a two shot kill for these guys. 
um, get outside of it, so where do I need to be now? Um, ooh, sk ooh, wither skeletons, okay. So let's do this and not get killed. Ooh, with the skeleton head. Oh, snap. All I need is three more of these and I can fight the wither. No, two more, actually. Okay, I'm just walking in circles. Where am I going? Oh, there's a... Oh, there's, 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 there's a... Gas. Eat it, gas. Ah, sucker. Where's my... Where, where's my... Gas here? This is something fell in fire. I don't think he dropped one. I really should have flown to, flown into him and got my my looting sword. That's sad. It's the same. Is this the same fortress that I was in before? I think this is different. I don't. This is a lot more open. I think this is different. I don't know. I don't know. I just ran right into him. That hurt. Oh, he's attacking me. <gasps> oh, that was not very, um, hmm, very nice. And people are getting attacked by zombies. Yay. My people are taking damage. Does that mean he's hungry? I can't fly over there. Oh, 